Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to VoiceOver Pro and this mini series that I got going with GarageBand. I imported a loop, I stretched it out to how I want it, but today I'm gonna change the loop. But I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna give you a sample of what I've been working on. Um, this is the previous loop I have. Play button. Check it out. Rewind button. Rewind, rewind play. And here we go. And I'm gonna try to make this a fast video, guys. So let's get to the point. Stop. Rewind. I don't. I don't want. I want to change the loop, so I'm gonna delete those tracks. Selected. Embattled sampled or cut. So epic cloud formation synth track. Synth track. Epic cloud formation track. Okay, guys. And here we go. I'm gonna go browse these loops that I already have selected and I have it on my favorites. So let's go and explore. Remember, you have to be in your tracks to get to your loop. So let's go. Undo button, metronome, und loops button. Selected Apple loops button, one of three. All right, let's navigate. And this is another thing that you're gonna see right here. I'm gonna go to my favorites, the loops that I've been liking. and. Uh, this that's will be included in this video so y'all could uh, see that little uh, side thing I'm doing right there files music but get more Apple loop table index adjustable get more Apple loops button when this shows up the get more Apple loops I'm gonna go over in another video so this video won't be long I'll go over that in another video okay but it's like how it says download more packs more sounds table index above and beyond button favored button above tap it button favored tap and hold loop to drag into your button favored button descriptors button genres button all right guys i navigated to the descriptors right next to the descriptors descriptors bu button favored button that button tap it and all your favorite loops that you have liked will show up let's go selected button favorite tap and hold airy box synth four bar selected and Selected, button favorite, once again ambient bells, selected, once again ambient, tap and hold loop to air, so, so, selected, button favorite, button, selected, once again ambient bells, so, once again string stabs, two selected, two bars, alright, Again, ambient bells. Once again, I'm gonna bring those two loops into my project. Let's get started. Double tap and hold. All right, Double here we go. It's a two-bar loop, and we're bringing into our project. Double tap and hold, and you will hear a a noise. Not that one. That one. Adding. Now my loops at it. Let's see. Let's navigate and fi figure it out. Where's it at? So we could make sure it's in the beginning. Since mixer track two volume volume seventy mixer controls. Double tap to it. So synth track zero synth track selected. Once again ambient bells starting at bar one beat one tick one length two bars. All right. Double tap mixer button. Epic cloud formation mixer track one play button. Rewind button. Rewind play button. I have there. There. Stop button. Rewind. Rewind. Loops button. I'm bringing the next loop for the next track. Here we go. Selected app tap and hold loop genres button. Once again ambient bells. Select once again string stabs. Two bars. Double tap to preview. Once you hear that noise, drag to the left. Adding. Synth selected. Once again, string stabs. Start synths. Once again, ambient. Rewind button. Rewind. Okay, now we, I'm going to play them. Let's make sure one is on each track. Play button. <laughs> Mute. 
I got those two loops, guys. That's a quick way to bring in two loops and to do different tracks without adding tracks. And in the next one, we're gonna be adding drums. I just wanted to come with this quick video so you could so you could see the change of the melody. And I'm gonna add some drums, and we're gonna start building our song. All right, guys. It's a quick tutorial just just to keep you updated on the change project we got going on GarageBand. And for those that um, barely tuning in and like the content, you know, like and subscribe, hit that bell, and welcome to the channel, you know. And that's about it. We'll catch you later, guys. See you later.